Good evening, this is Rashad Mitchell. Come to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series. The week that was, college football season review, the 1963 college football season. Today I'll be talking about the games that were played during, uh, I think this is week 10, I believe, during the games that were played on Thanksgiving uh, from November 12th, 28th to November 30th. Um, there were games obviously played on Thanksgiving during that time in 1963. So this is, uh, Gotta be week number 10 for uh, this. No, it's actually, it's week 11. Week number 11. So, this is week 11. The games that were played on November 28th to 29th and the 30th. So, let's get into it. On Thanksgiving, Illinois, the number 18 in the country, shut out number 4, Michigan State. So, this is a battle of two top 10 teams. Number 8, Illinois versus number 4, Michigan State on Thanksgiving. Where Illinois, the number eight team in the country, beat number four Michigan State 13 0. Opening kickoff indicated sort of day Spartans would have as halfback Dewey Lincoln bobbled ball and was down on his three yard line. Center linebacker Dick Buckett's great day on defense paved the way for Illinois win. So with it came Illinois' first trip to Rose Bowl since beating Stanford after the 1951 season. Center kicker Jim Plackenhorn. Thank you, Horn. Rooted field goals of 22, 34 yards in first half. Fullback Jim Grabowski made 14-yard touchdown run early in the third quarter. It came after defensive guard Ed Washington pounced on fumble by Michigan State quarterback Dick Probes Stewart on second play of the third quarter. So halfback Sherman Lewis, who scored eight touchdowns during his partner's first games, first eight games of the season, was held in complete check by Illinois' defense which permitted only 148 yards rushing. On the same Thanksgiving day, number one Texas beat Texas A&M by a score of 15 to 13. Number one Texas became the first undefeated Southwest Championship team since TCU turned trick in its 1938 National Championship season. But Longhorns clinched nothing before Aggies provided serious scare. Riled up Texas A&M led 13-3 going to the fourth quarter on two touchdown passes by quarterback Jim Keller. Texas sub quarterback Tommy Wade's sharp passing setup. Longhorns rallying touchdown runs by halfback Tommy Ford by 113 yards rushing on 21 carries and the quarterback Duke Carlisle. Duke Carlisle. Dartmouth beat Princeton by score of 22-21 with Ivy League title all but wrapped up in the fourth quarter at 21-7. The Princeton subs allowed Dartmouth to make touchdown drive capped by Gimpy uh, Indians halfback Tom Spangenberg's uh, run in his two-point run which trimmed Tigers lead to 21-15. Inspired Trip Big Green drove to the Tigers one-yard line on their next series only to be halted on fourth down. Dartmouth's comeback appeared lost as Princeton fans cheered loudly. Moments later on third and short run. However, the Nassau's future Hall of Famer fullback Cosmo Ikevasi lost fullback in his backfield to Dortmouth this defensive end Scott Scott Krillman. When Tigers lineman missed block, Ikevasi was blasted by gap, for gap shooting. So defensive guard Dave the the Kalistra that was the hardest tackle I've ever seen, I've seen all season. That this that was the hardest tackle I've seen all season, said Crow. Dartmouth Captain. Indians have back John McClain, but he scored on two yards sweep. Half back kicker Gary Wilson at winning kick. Dartmouth and Princeton shared Ivy League title as Harvard, which had beaten both top teams, stumbled at Yale 26 and finished half back half game back. Next, North Carolina beat Duke by score of 16-14. Georgia Tech beat Georgia 14-3. Auburn, number nine team in the country. This is about two top ten teams. Number nine, Auburn beat number six, Alabama, 10-8. Quarterback Malin Kent, who had played only six minutes all year, created both Auburn scores as early game reliever for injured quarterback Jimmy Seidel. Kicker Woody Woodall kicked 32-yard field goal, and Kent hit halfback Tucker Fredrickson with eight yard touchdown pass in third quarter. Lapsing only to allow Princeton Tide halfback Benny Nelson's 80 yard touchdown run in the third quarter. South Tigers defense was aided by punter Ed uh, Kilgore's win bucking punts. Mississippi, the number three team in the country, 
played against Mississippi State where this matchup ended in a 10-10 tie. Sugar Bowl bound, Ole Miss needed fourth quarter 20-yard field goal by Big and kicker Billy Carl Irwin to tie out game by 221 yards to 111 yards by stubborn Mississippi State. Rebels dominated first, first half, went 82 yards to score on 30-yard pass. The quarterback Jim Weatherly to tail back Mike Dennis late in the first quarter. Bulldogs, no dogs, guard with kicker Justin Canal. Canal ran 49-yard field goal through goal post in the second quarter. Mississippi State defense pinned Ole Miss at its 9-yard line and took 10-7 third quarter lead when halfback Ole Burrell completed his only pass of season for 32-yard touchdown to end Tommy Inman. Clock was ticking toward three minutes to go mark when Rebels bumped stiff the room's defense to first and go at Mississippi State seven yard line. Full goal Fred Roberts hit brick wall at three yard line on third down, and coach Johnny Vaught was faced with big decision. After Allen made his 20 yard field goal to tie contest and clinch the SEC title, Vaught said it would, if we had gambled and lost, we would not have been conference champions. Missouri beat uh, Kansas 9-7. Arizona, Arizona State beat Arizona by score of 35-6. So I'm beating the WAC Conference, but playing a sufficient number of conference games to claim titles. Sun Devils still won eighth straight game since losing their opening. Stanford beat California by score of 28-17. West Coast annual big game had been contested in rugby from 1906-1914. to and this modern football fair saw as much effective kicking as in olden days. California had back kicker Tom Blanchfield booted a 37-yard field goal in the first quarter, only to see it matched before halftime by a Stanford kicker Brady Beck from 36 yards out. Game's third quarter turned highly offensive with big break coming early to the Indians. Golden Bears' bad snap was recovered at Cal five-yard line. Quarterback Steve Thurlow quickly scored a touchdown, so back came. The Bears has had back Jim Blakeney uh, scored on a seven yard run. Blanchfield kicked extra point for 10 9 lead. Blanchfield soon followed with 69 yard punt return for a touchdown, trailing 17 15 in the fourth quarter. Stanford called on Beck to nail 48 yard field goal to put Tribe in front 18 17 with 12 minutes left at the third low. Second rushing touchdown, Bears were still within reach at 25 17. And Beck shut door with 46-yard field goal with four minutes to play. Washington beat Washington State 16 to nothing. Oregon beat Oregon State 31-14. Had bad defensive back, had HD Murphy made two interceptions each leading to first half Oregon touchdown. Also caught 29 yard touchdown pass from quarterback Bob Berry in third quarter. Ducks fullback Lou Bain scored twice on four 13 yards runs. Falling behind 31 0, disappointed uh, Beavers earned only four first downs through three quarters, but made show of it with two late touchdowns. Behind through the stream, sophomore quarterback Marv Poston, who tallied game's last touchdown. AP poll as December 2nd looked like this. In the top 10, you had Texas at number 1, Navy at number 2, number 3, Illinois, number 4, Pittsburgh, number 5, Auburn, number 6, Nebraska, number 7, Mississippi, number 8, Oklahoma, number 9, AM, Alabama, number 10, Michigan State. So that concludes a look at the games that were played during uh, week number 11. The games that were played on November 28th to November 30th. And the top 10, once again, for December 2nd was Texas at number 1. T Navy was number 2. Illinois was number 3. Pittsburgh was number 4. Number 5, Auburn. Number 6, Nebraska. Number 7, Mississippi State. Excuse me. Number 7, Mississippi. Number 8, Oklahoma. Number 9, Alabama. Number 10, Michigan State. Number one, Texas. Number two, Navy. Number three, Illinois. Number four, Pittsburgh. Number five, Auburn. Number six, Nebraska. Number seven, Mississippi. Number eight, Oklahoma. Number nine, Alabama. Number ten, Michigan State. Again, 
Number one, Texas. Number two, Navy. Number three, Illinois. Number four, Pittsburgh. Number five, Auburn. Number six, Nebraska. Number seven, Mississippi. Number eight, Oklahoma. Number nine, Alabama. And Michigan State was number 10. So that's enough for the uh, today. This is week 11. The games are played on November the 28th and November 30th. Uh, that clues look at the week that was college football history review 1963 college football season. Week 11, the games are played on November 28th to November 30th. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Till then, talk to you tomorrow.